all right last time we created this dashboard uh, now today we're gonna make a video on the part two so yeah without any further delay let's get started okay first uh, we will uh, create a few more tables so i will use the setting today i change it actually like this you can choose this color also i'm gonna choose this also today all right so i will name this uh, total average like that where we will create one uh, order id count let me let the all right in the text field from there i will change it to the major count distance as you can see this is our total order count and then i will drag the customer count also by the name of customer i will choose here the customer name and uh, we will change it to customer count and i will change same thing i will do with this also a major you can change if and you can keep it down like that and one more thing we will create here the average discount percentage okay or any major you like you can create I'm just creating to show that we can show the differences, you know. So let me change it this percentage to the average discount, average, average percentage, and I will just format this to like you know in the decimals and like for same we did, did last time, then yeah? percentage and decimal we got it. All right, okay. Now everything has been uh, like now we will just format these things i will change the color of this as a blue color dark blue color maybe let's see how it's look like and make it a little bit darker no i think we have to change the background color let me change it quickly so yeah uh, i will change the background color first okay, put the pen and i'll keep it same like before okay and same goes for the result i'll choose it choose the boxy color from here you can change the dashboard color also just go to the comment dashboard choose the setting as a simple as okay now let's go back to the our main part all right let me edit this i will name this as a last time we choose setting 22 right we will keep it same i'll keep it in a right enter it write the name uh total customer total sorry total customer we will keep it as a total customer let me remove the uh, sorry resize this little bit down i will keep it nine and color i will keep it as a black total customers okay same goes for this also nine black and we will keep the name average discount percentage okay and this is same goes for this also we will keep it total order okay so now our total customer average discount percent and total uh, order has been created i will just simply click on okay this is here all right let me give some space here that it will look more attractive to from here also okay maybe this is far enough keep it little bit down okay last time we already create the y o y growth percentage okay i will just drag the y o y growth percentage here because we don't want to apply this filter here right and the position of this icon also we will drag it here and i will change this uh, format i will just change the format to the percentage and go to the text open it keep it 22 and colors just keep it color as a blue for now and this we will keep it green all right last time we already show how i did so you can go through that video you will know how did i create the y o y percentage right y o y o y growth 
percentage will get the value. Okay, we will create one more table for the uh, measure. Some measure we will keep here some measure and uh, some uh, like now the tables. So I will use here the customer ID, the row cell, and the customer name also in the row cell. Order ID also in the row cell and uh, order date I will keep so I'm gonna took the order date from here and change it to the month okay. let me change this format I by mistake select the day just go to the more custom and from here you can choose the format as per your choice I'm choosing this and click OK so yeah as you can see here I will choose few, few more uh tables here like i can choose the category wise and i can choose the sub categories and what is the sub category okay i can choose the sub category just choose the whatever you like how many you want just doing it like that okay now see you can add as many as you want and now, now we will value and put it in the text column okay and major name i will drag it from here and put it in the column cell okay so as you can see here all the major name and all the major value has been came here so we will keep some only like i can uh, choose i will remove this also from here just to remove you click here i will keep here the few like two three or four we can choose like discount i will keep it here and the profit also i will keep it here and sales we will keep it here or let's let it be the quantity i will remove the y o y growth percentage and zero access also okay this is our uh, table has been created okay so like that you can add as many as you want and uh, sometime what happened maybe it you will see here the abc value because when we add a lot of here so it's looked abc value over here so you can keep it that one that doesn't matter all right so okay or sometime maybe the this uh, value like discount and all it will not look perfectly so you can format just go to here like format as you want in the decimal and all everything just drag it little bit more then it look better okay so yeah like that you can go to the format and from here you can assign like in the center pen should be in the center okay so as you can see this is came in the center like that you can do for the everything all right let me do the formatting part just go to here just the formatting setting just uh, select the worksheet color is a uh, same color we use earlier now our uh, y or y growth percentage has been created you can change the color of this also go to the format select this worksheet and from here worksheet color same okay and now let's begin our dashboard too as you can see i have we will keep it in the floating mode i'll drag the table from here to here and we will assign the table somewhere here that it can be visible and uh, the we have created one y o y growth percentage i will drag it here let me uh, hide the title that we can get a little more little bit more space now it's time to drag one more chart here, over here all right so now we have created one uh, more table okay now it's as you can see everything has visible perfectly First, we will create one navigation button by the name of. We will assign this navigation button to dashboard one. We will give the title sales analytics sales analytics. We will keep it dark black. Okay, and I will assign somewhere here. And one more navigation button. We will make it. For the detail report all right I will rename this as a detail report 
okay and i will assign this to the dashboard too and we will keep background color is gray okay so now let's come to the filtering part from here also you can go directly just click here and it will take you to the worksheet where we create the tables there we will put the three uh, our the three filter like category wise i will drag this filter here category wise i will just click okay uh, let me find it new year date i will drag it here and i will select only the all years right and apply okay and then one more calculated field by the reason right we need i will drag it and drop it here and we will select all the reason and just click okay okay from now we have created the field let's go back to the dashboard part from here just select the tables drop down filter from here select the category they see reason one more filter we will select new year date and one more filter we will select what what is the remaining filter uh, the, okay the category this is our filter okay so now we have three filter in floating mode let me edit a little bit first and then we will go to the editing part okay and we will change the format as a multi drop down multi value drop down same goes for this also i will select multiple value drop down and for this also multiple value drop down just edit a little bit from here and now let's apply the filter just go to the apply worksheet and selected worksheet as we did earlier now we don't want this to be oh, sorry this should be for everything and new air date filter shouldn't be affected to the which one the y o y growth percentage right that that was our condition y o y percentage we have so i will uncheck that okay and same goes for this also i will open apply worksheet selected worksheet and select all let me check once the filter one by one see okay it's working fine okay let me remove the hair hide the title for this also okay let me check this also okay here filter is working fine and same goes for this also let me remove and click go back okay now we will assign the icon for this filter as we did last time same we will do what we will do we will change the filter to the uncheck this floating mode then it can we goes to the tile mode and same just uncheck this floating same goes for this also uncheck this floating okay now we have changed this uh, floating to tile mode we will select the tile here and drag the horizontal ground front from here to here we will drop it here then we will drag the all filter inside the container so as you can see here let me drag this this dragging part is too headache you know? okay let me drop drag it one more and there is one more filter behind this let me okay after uh, you uh, drag all the filter inside to the horizontal container it will look like this see as you can see it will uh, in the top one bottom and like that uh, when you uh, drag all the filter inside of uh, this horizontal container just go to here click add so button and uh, one small window will pop up here just double click on it and to item so just choose the hide button and the item hidden choose the so button and press ok just you can say apply and ok ok then it will appear here just drag it from here and you can keep wherever you like and just make it size little bigger if you will click alt and click on it will go see it will not appear in the screen and uh, when you will click back 
see now it's working fine okay if you want to know how did i create uh, the first dashboard just uh, i have given the video in the my channel you can check out that thank you